Hello everyone, it's Rovertronic, and today I'm going to be showing off the real-time point lighting system in the Super Mario 64 ROM hack engine I'm currently developing. Welcome to bob -omb Battlefield at nighttime. If you take a look around, as you can see, um, we just have the moonlight and our wonderful lanterns. Now first and foremost, I should shout out Fluffa Mario for letting me borrow his Mario model for the purposes of demonstration. It's a really high quality model specifically designed for lighting, so I'm glad he let me borrow it. Let's get started, shall we? So as you can see, both these lantern boxes are um, illuminating light. As you can see, if I get really far away, the light falls off. And then when I walk back, you can see the light is right in his face. Every point light in this level is in real time. So if I punch this box and, and then punch the next box, as you see, all the light disappears. Um, if I grab this box right here and then walk in front of these signs, you'll see that since we're in front of the signs, um, the light can actually hit the fronts of the signs. Of course, if we throw this lantern, um, you'll see the light uh, just moving. Now this is one of my favorite sections. This is really cool. Um, if you look here, um, you can see the platforms as they get closer to the red coin, they get redder. And honestly, this this section in particular is just really, really cool to me. If I grab this red coin though, um, all the light disappears. If I walk over here, as you can see, um, this bubble is uh, emanating blue light. Um, obviously bubbles don't actually do that. I just threw a bunch of point light on a bunch of random objects for the sake of demonstration. This is also a really cool scene. Um, if you look at the chain chomp, specifically his eyes, you can see the red coins making his eyes red. Um, Go over here, you can see the light of the star is making his eyes yellow. And this is really cool, so you can collect the star, um, the light will disappear, and then when the celebration star appears, um, it'll appear again. But uh, yeah, and then when you get the star, um, there's no more light coming from here. One thing that bothers me about ROM hacks is they bake the light into the geometry. Um, so when you grab the star, the yellow light is still there, and it's kind of weird. Um, in this area over here, you can see light from both sides reflecting off of Mario. Red light from both sides. Um, you can especially see it on this uh, transparent red coin star. We got another lantern box over here. You can throw it. Emanates orange light onto those uh, boxes. Very cool. And we got this mysterious green light emanating here. And the mystery solved is that it's a 1-up, and as you can see, the green light of 1-up follows the 1-up, um, and the, the green light slowly trails throughout the level. You can see the green really, really reflecting good off of that sign. Um, then if we grab the 1-up, um, no more light. Another one of my favorite scenes is this red coin and green one-up sort of coming together and making an interesting light set, almost a Christmassy light set. If you stand between them, you get the green light of the one-up on your right side and the red light of the red coin on your left side. And of course, if I grab the red coin, um, all the red light disappears and then you only get the green light. And of course, if I grab that, all the light disappears. Another neat thing I implemented is that when you throw up a bomb, get a quick flash of light from the explosion. Now if we approach the back side of a bomb battlefield, we got another lantern light over here. Of course, if we throw a bomb here, it'll all go dark. Another cool feature of the point lights is while collecting a star will make the light disappear, spawning a star, well, will inversely make it appear. And if we grab this glass red coin, the same also applies. And now you have an extra light source. Thank you for watching this short lighting demo. When Palamedes engine gets further developed and stable, I intend on using it for future ROM hack projects. And for those people who are rightfully worried that all this fancy lighting will be detrimental to gameplay, for all intents and purposes, this demo was created like an Unreal Engine enthusiast slapping together cool graphics effects to show off cool visuals. In practice, the lighting engine is going to be used unintrusively. Shoutouts to my awesome Patreons for financially supporting my ROM hacking hobby. If you want to see these videos one week early as well as get exclusive bonus content, then subscribe to my Patreon. Also, join my Discord community to talk to like-minded people about Mario 64 ROM hacking. And finally, subscribe to this YouTube channel to get more updates on Palamedes Engine. Alright, thank you for watching, and bye.